if it's going to rain, we protect ourselves by using an umbrella. Um, if there are floods, how do we protect our communities from the effects of flooding? And floods are the number one natural disaster in the United States. It's a predictable natural disaster, and since the flood of 1993, Illinois has seen almost 20 federally declared flood disasters. Flood damage in Illinois is estimated to exceed 700 million per year. Um, I work with the CHAMP group, uh, the Coordinated Hazard and Assess Assessment and Mapping Program at the Water Survey. And we've spent about seven years mapping floodplains. We know that floods will happen and where they will happen, so how do we use that information to protect our communities and our citizens from the effects of floods? FEMA's solution is watershed discovery. The goal of discovery is to build flood resilient communities by working closely with stakeholders in the watershed to identify local flood risks, to assess those risks, and to plan for ways to reduce flood risk. Sounds great. So how do we accomplish those goals FEMA's laid out? Well, we realized that a big part of discovery would be large group meetings that weren't just presentations, but that were interactive and seeking communities' input. The people on CHAMP, no offense, are mostly scientific types that aren't necessarily people people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when we reached out to the U of I Extension for their involvement. The Extension staff members are expert facilitators and skilled educators, so a great partnership was formed, which is good because we have to do a lot of outreach. There's a long list of local, statewide, and national stakeholders involved with discovery projects. <laughs> to get the broadest vision of flood risk and needed mitigation efforts, we need a variety of people providing input. And their input is the most important part of the meeting and the process. We want to identify risks, but we also want to educate the community to reduce risk and increase flood awareness. We ask SMEs, or subject matter experts, to attend and present at these meetings. Usually FEMA comes to the meetings, as well as IEMA, or the Illinois Emergency Management Agency. They speak about mitigation, or how to reduce risk to life and property. And grants that are available for communities to reduce risk and do things such as move your house out of the floodplain. Every discovery meeting is different, but we always bring the discovery map, flood maps, comment forms, data forms, and this is the main way that we record the information collected at the meeting. We find out what is already going on in that community, where the risks are, what resources they have. We also collect GIS data to build a discovery database and a map. All this data helps to identify where risk is located, but also what data is available to help us better define that risk. At the meetings, people gather in groups at tables around the discovery maps. Really great, interesting, and unpredictable conversations always happen, and collaborations occur due to who may be seated at each table. One table might have a geologist, a mayor, a wetlands biologist, a county engineer, and a floodplain manager. Some interesting things happen with so many unique viewpoints uh, about watersheds at one table and at one meeting. At the meetings, we really put people to work and we ask them to provide input on how their watershed flood risk is currently represented, and also to give us information on where we've missed some things. And this is a slide that we show them. Uh, I think discovery works really well because we aren't coming in and telling people what to do. We tell them what we know from the data we've collected and the reports we've read, and we solicit their input. And they tell us the real story of what's going on in the watershed. We also provide education and information to the community from experts on all the topics, and we make them available for one-on-one -on -one conversations afterwards or during the meeting um, so that they can get more information on topic, topics, how to protect their community. So then, after the meetings, we assemble all the information uh, collected at the meetings and provide a final report. Wait, that's out of order. <laughs> okay, well, we do assemble. Um, but this is more about, we feel overloaded by the information we collect, there's so much, but then we also give a lot of information back to the community members. So we all kind of have that, wow, what just happened, feeling there. And we collect all that information, assess it, and we provide a final report, but that's not the end. Um, we contact the communities to see if they want more outreach and more information and possibly follow-up meetings. And so through continued outreach and utilization of information collected at these meetings, we hope to create communities that are safer and more resilient from the effects of flooding throughout Illinois. Thank you.